In today's video, I'll quickly demonstrate how you can enlarge images. The program I'll be using is called Upscale. It delivers speedy and incredible results, and it's free. To download the program, I'm heading to its website of upscale.org. You can download it by clicking on the download button on the site. Choose the version that matches your operating system. For me, it's Windows. I'll cancel the previous download I had for this. Skipping the installation. I'm opening the program. Here, I have images created using Krita and Stable Diffusion. The resolutions are quite low, saving a lot of time in producing images at this low resolution. I'll extract each of the six layers into separate image files. I'm not changing the image size and exporting them as is. Six layers result in six images here. On a closer look, the details appear poor, especially in these red flowers. I'm switching to the upscale program. I'll perform a batch upscale. Alternatively, you can select a single image. I'm choosing the folder where the images are located for batch processing. The folder shouldn't contain non-image files, or the program might encounter errors. I'm selecting the general photograph as the model. My images resemble photographs. There are some advanced options in the settings section. The theme selection is done here. Only PNG output can be chosen for the batch. If you only want to upscale, you can enable this option. It performs the classic enlargement process. You can adjust how much to upscale the image using this setting. I'll be enlarging it by four times. Processing begins. Images are generated. Let's first look at the original version and then the upscaled image. There's a significant difference. To see this better, I'd like to compare the images side by side. Firstly, I'll enlarge the original images using the conventional method through FastStone. I'm choosing a 400% enlargement and saving it in a folder named Native. The images have been transformed. WinMerge allows comparison between image and text files. I'm selecting the two folders and dropping them onto WinMerge. It'll quickly compare them. However, it couldn't perform the comparison due to different file types. I should have upscaled the images as PNG. 
instead, I can convert the images upscaled by upscale to the JPG format. Essentially, it is the same process. This time, I'll print them to the same directory, and then delete the ones in PNG format. I forgot to turn off the 400% enlargement, so it slowed down considerably. I just disabled the advanced options. Now it's done. I'm deleting the ones in PNG format and comparing them again. The difference is incredible. Look at the detail on that mountain. Even the tree leaves show a lot of detail. Every part of the upscaled image is amazingly detailed. This is the best result I have seen. I tried Photoshop's Super Zoom also. This time, I'll upscale according to the digital art model. Let me quickly convert PNG to JPG. I'm displaying three images side by side. The one on the far right was enlarged using a model suitable for digital art or an IM images. It looks like it's painted with a brush. Since my images resemble photographs, this didn't yield good results. Instead, I'll choose a model similar to digital art. Let's look at an image I generated with Playground AI. This is an image of a rose. The one on the left was enlarged for the photograph, and the one on the right was enlarged using a model suitable for digital images. In my opinion, the image on the right is better. I'd appreciate it if you share your thoughts below. The instructional part of the video ends here. I'll add a few of the new images I've created with AI to the continuation of the video. Thank you for watching.